Hi everyone, I hope you are having a great weekend or week uh, also enjoying this nicer, cooler weather, uh, maybe spending more time outdoors and finding ways to stay healthy and active to welcome the new season. So I wanted to talk about something that you have probably heard about and it's something that it's very important to know and be aware of if you are uh, trying to avoid heavy metals. So heavy metals are actually um, very common now and we are exposed to, um, the. first of all, they're very highly toxic uh, and they are in many, many different places. So we are actually exposed to heavy metals in the water that we drink. So uh, it could be from old pipes, uh, rusty pipes that are uh, in you know houses and different towns and uh, these heavy metals can show up in our water. They are also in the air coming from pesticides, chemicals that we're exposed to, and even in the soil, because they these chemicals are also applied to our food supply. And unfortunately, they end up in the soil. And of course, it goes back into the water. So this is something that we should be aware of, but it's also important to know and learn different ways to avoid them. These toxics or toxins can accumulate in our bodies and they can uh, create cross, um, chronic disease, aches and pains. Um, some of the symptoms that you can experience is maybe feeling nauseous, having abdominal pain, uh, maybe, you know, just symptoms that are rare that you are not, you know, used to and they're not linked to anything that is showing in any, you know, maybe when you go to the doctors and you do your physical, everything shows up normal, but you're still feeling some of these signs. So it is important that you maybe ask your doctor to run a test and see if you have heavy metals in your body. Some of our um, health providers or um, health insurance can actually run a test, a blood test to check if you have any residual or anything showing up coming from heavy metals in your body. Um, so when they accumulate, um, some of these are the most known or the most common arsenic or arsenic, mercury. This is usually in uh, fish and also in, believe it or not, there's a lot of uh, cleaning products, also cosmetics that have a lot of these heavy metals. Cadmium. Uh, chromium this is one of the most common ones that we are most exposed to lead this could be in a lot of different products paint in our house uh, maybe from an old house uh, medications water and aluminum so the most important thing is to understand uh, first of all, if you do have any of these metals in your body, but also how to avoid exposure and also how to eliminate them so you can stay healthy and improve your health. So some of the things that you can actually do to uh, maybe avoid this is to uh, try to avoid drinking contaminated water. So it is recommended that if you're not sure, uh, especially if you live in an old house, do not drink water from a uh, like tap water. You should be using a filter, um, whether it is installed in your sink or in your showers or in, in the house, or um, use a filter before you drink your water. It could be, you know, there's a lot of different filters that you can uh, buy and, um, you know, not drink directly from the tap or from the sink. Use proper, uh, uh, disposable uh, procedures so if you have maybe um, you know paint in your house that you want to get rid of batteries uh, things that are highly toxic make sure that you don't dump that in the water or in the toilet because all of these chemicals can actually go right into the water supply that you're drinking from so find out how to get rid of this um, you know things that are highly toxic uh, including battery batteries and maybe uh, highly you know high chemicals highly toxic chemicals that you buy like cleaning supplies that you don't know how to get rid of um, maybe things that you use 
uh, for repairing something in the house, um, like thinner um, and many, many different things. So you can call the fire department and they will tell you when are the days that are actually good for you to drop off or where to take these, um, you know, different products that you don't know how to get rid of. Do not throw them in the toilet or in the sink. Uh, consume organic or naturally foods. This is something that can help you avoid um, the exposure of heavy metals from uh, pesticides that are being applied to our foods. And also when you're cooking in the kitchen, trying to use uh, copper free cookware. So um, this is something that you can actually look up in the internet. Uh, if you find uh, one that you like, make sure that you read that it says copper free. Um, and um, this is something that can also help you avoid contamination of uh, heavy metals. So I hope this was um, helpful. I hope you get to explore, number one, uh, if there's anything that you think is, um, you know, exposing you from heavy metals. It's also important that you talk to your doctor and maybe find out if you can run a test and see if you have any of this. And there's many, many different ways to also not avoid it, but also by eating natural and clean raw foods that can help you get rid of all of these toxins from your body. So I hope this was helpful and I hope you have an amazing week.